Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to create your motion graphs. As you can see, I have my data in a Google Sheet. I have my time data in column B here, and for segment 1 it goes 2 through 20, and then for segment 2 it's 22 through 40 seconds. And you would have more segments, obviously, than I do. But for purposes of demonstration, I'm only using two segments. And then I have my distance data as well. So I highlight those two columns, time and distance, and I would highlight all of the data continuing down below, and then I click on the insert menu. Then I click on chart. Now this isn't correct. We want to have a line chart and we want to have the time data along the bottom. So if you notice right now, it's actually graphing both the number from the time and from the distance. So if we look over here, we can say use column B as labels because column B is my time data. All right, then on the charts tab, we can click on line and we can choose smooth line chart. So that is the graph of my data for time two through 40 seconds and the distance. Now what's missing from this? Well, we don't have a horizontal axis title and we don't have a chart title. So let's go fix that on the customize menu. So if I click on, if I delete the chart title, I can add a new one. Okay, so for this one's going to be distance versus time. Then I scroll down and you can see that there's an axis area and we're looking at the horizontal axis. So let's change that to time. And we're going to, I'm putting second S or seconds in parentheses after the label so that people know the units. Then I'm also going to change the left vertical axis and I'm going to make that distance. And I'm putting meters or M in parentheses after so that people know the units are meters. Then I can click on insert. That's simple. So now I have my distance versus time graph. Now I need to do my time versus speed. So I highlight again the two columns of data and I click on the insert menu again, chart. This time I'm using column D as labels because column D was the, the time data. And then you click on the charts tab, the line, and then the smooth line chart option. Again, go into customize, change your tar chart title, change your axis titles. Don't forget your units for speed. Mine is this, in this case, is meters per second. Now notice right now we both have, we have two charts with blue lines. You can, under the customize tab, scroll down and change the color and thickness of a line so that you can make them more distinct from each other. Once you're finished, you click on insert and you can drag it around. Any changes you make to your data will be reflected in the graphs immediately. So if for some reason I changed this up to 20, you would see that bump on my graph immediately. All right, so the final thing you need to do once your graphs are completely finished, you like how they look and that data is all correct, you can copy it from the spreadsheet into a Google document very easily by clicking on the down arrow here and clicking copy chart. If for some reason there's an error that you need to go back to, you can click on advanced edit and that will take you back to the original screen so that you could make changes to the color or to other aspects of your chart. But copy chart and then you can just paste it into a document and it behaves just like a picture that you've imported. You can move it around, you can wrap text around it so that it looks nice. Thank you for watching.